God, it is short under here. And it's so low, and I gotta swerve. Avoid a really low patch. <laughs> this is fun. I love this. I'm helping out on a uh, Japanese pear, Nashi farm. Oh, there they some of them are. See? The stuff wrapped in newspapers. Oh, that's low. That is so low. Oh, this way. And uh, I'm helping out to get free Japanese pears. It is what my wife wants. So that's why I'm here. Happy wife, happy life. Taking a full load back. Right there. Ugh. Oh my god. Well, if I'd known how how cramped the space is, I mean, I'm walking like Quasimodo. If I knew how cramped it was in here, I might not have volunteered. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure I can make up this hill. I better put the phone away. Backing into the uh, building there was fun. A little difficult, so I couldn't take my hands off the wheel to, to video, and they had to push me too. I am walking around in here, bent over double. I feel like an old man walking around in these things. Cause I'm, if, I, if I stand up anymore, well, in some places, ugh, I can stand up and my head is, you know, poking up through these support wires <laughs> that all these trees grow on. So, uh, yeah, walking through here and picking fruits is not <laughs> conducive to a happy back. And the sheer amount of fruit that has fallen on the ground is amazing. Apparently this is totally normal not the result of a typhoon or anything. This amount of fruit falling down is usual. Can I think of any other words that mean normal? Typical. I don't know if it's the source on me, so whatever. Oh, a rare clear spot. Did a tree die here or something? Oh, uh, yeah, apparently so. Or no, that's a branch that died, I guess. Hmm, huh, interesting. It's art. Pretty sure that's a murder hornet flying right there. Well, it's, it's perched at the moment. Uh, there were two more flying right around my head. As long as I leave them alone, they should leave me alone. But I'm pretty sure that's a, that's a murder hornet. Suzumibachi in Japanese. That's the smaller version. They get a lot bigger. Well, I mean, there's only two kinds. The other one's bigger. one dropped out of a tree so you can't sell it because it hit the ground mm. but it's delicious mm. Mm. my face is wet with juice <laughs> you know what it's a lot easier driving downhill with an empty load <laughs> going for our I've lost count. I've only been three or four. Didn't really notice at first because you know I'm standing under all these trees, but holding up all these support wires is a big wire support tower. Can't really see that when you're under the leaves, under the branches. It's all just a world of trunks and leaves and branches and grass down here. And the occasional murder hornet. Seems a little late to me, but I found a couple flowers. Can't smell a thing. <laughs> but they are very late blooms. It's the end of what month is it? September. We're stalling out on this, so we're using a different one. It's got a smaller back though. But it's just fun to drive, but it's a pull start. These things are not exactly built for speed. <laughs> I can walk faster than this, even bent over under the branches. I have. I'm giving her all she's got, Captain, but I cannot go any faster. I cannot break the laws of physics. Of course, after Scotty said that, he always did break the laws of physics, so maybe now I can too. Yay! No. I have hit my head walking in here so many times, I have not even tried to count. You know, about like 10 nashi, and your basket's already full. Gotta go back to the, uh, I don't even know what you call this thing. We were just talking about wondering how old these trees are and how long they can actually produce fruit. This is a fairly new one to replace this uh, older dead one. They're not, they don't get toadstools until they're dying or dead or dying. And this one will probably take about 10 years before it starts making fruit. And they're guessing maybe 
these trees can produce fruit for 50 years? We're not really sure. Going out for my sixth and I think final time. Some of the other people who are here with me say they're gonna be picking until like five o'clock, but Kumiko only told me that in the morning, so I'm thinking it's my last run. I don't really wanna stay until five o'clock. I gotta work tomorrow. This is my day off. <laughs> This is what it's like for me driving in here. Duck, duck, goose. No, that's not right. Whoa. Okay, so I'm done. I'm just walking back to the car because it's parked over there a ways. Actually, I'm gonna drive back to the barn there and uh, I get to take a bunch of Nashi home with me. That's why I'm going to grab the car because I've got a uh, cardboard box in the car. We'll load that up and then get headed home. I'm taking all these home with me. No idea how long they'll last. Probably not long. The number just went up. The uh, owner of the place saw my box and said, that's all you're taking? So yeah, I doubled it. <laughs> I'm not gonna close it. I'm not sure I can pick it up actually. So that was an interesting experience. My first time picking Japanese pears from an orchard. <sighs> okay, so, oh, get time to get the sweat out of my eyes and then say, if you like what you see, click the thumbs up, please subscribe. Uh, click the bell icon so you never miss a video. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. And please check out all the links down below in the description, like Patreon and whatnot, Etsy, and all that stuff. Oh, time to go home. Probably going to have to stop off somewhere and get lunch first. I'm hungry. <laughs> I was driving along, go heading home, and I drove right beside the Ariake, and so I just had to stop in. A short, just a two minute walk along what there is of the beach. It's really not much. I don't think I want to go swimming here. But holy crap, that's a lot of shells. That's all shells. Wow, that's nothing but shells. Okay. And they are crunching underfoot. Even just a little bit. It feels good to walk along the beach. I think maybe you could swim here. It smells a little fishy though. <laughs>